cardiovascular diseases are the number one cause of sudden and unexpected death globally. More people die annually from CVDs than from any other cause. An estimated 17.9 million people died from CVDs in 2016, representing 31% of all global deaths. Of these deaths, 85% are due to heart attack and stroke. Over three quarters of 75% of CVD deaths takes place in low and middle income countries. Out of the 17 million premature deaths under the age of 70, due to non communicable diseases in 2015, 82% are in low and middle income countries, and 37% are caused by CVDs. According to IDF, International Diabetes Federation, in 2017, Approximately 425 million adults between 20 and 79 years we are living with diabetes. By 2045, this will rise to 629 million. 79% of adults with diabetes were living in low and middle income countries. The greatest number of people with diabetes were between 40 and 59 years of age. One in two, 212 million people with diabetes, we are undiagnosed. Diabetes caused 4 million deaths. 352 million people were at risk of developing type 2 diabetes. In today's fast-paced world, industrialization and advancement technology have brought a lot of benefits to mankind and the world. For example, it has made it easier to move from point A to B by using motorbikes, cars, aeroplanes and others. It has led to unrefined foods in place of organic food, which produce naturally. Some of the major concerns are the impact on our fitness and health today. For example, we now eat lots of unhealthy food, microwaved instead of freshly cooked, and food that contains lots of salt, sugar, fats, and oils. With urbanization, we are now lazy to walk even for very short distances as we drive or take buses, even going for shopping or going to nearby school or visit or other activities. We no longer go to the farms, and long walks to the farm or to fetch water. All these have all stopped. So fine soleils in overeating, excessive drinking, smoking, drugs and narcotics. There are now less sports for both children and adults as houses have been built everywhere in place of fields. This combination of lack of physical activity with consumption of unhealthy diet which has resulted huge in surge in major killer diseases such as the cardiovascular diseases, obesity, arthritis, emotional breakdown, diabetes, hypertension, among other measures, one of the most important, effective and scientifically proven premature measures is regular exercise such as physical fitness training in gym especially, where there are no fields or safe paths for running or exercise. Please, my name is Choma Tabaz. Now, how do you feel doing exercise? Too, I'm so happy. Anytime I come here, I'm always happy because sometimes, before I started coming here, I used to have waist pain, but now, no, even sickness, pimple, everything is gone. Hey, how are you doing? Fine. What's the name? Peter. Peter, that's cool. So, Peter, do you know what exercise is? Okay, so, what do you think exercise is? Exercise is a way of keeping yourself healthy. It's also a way that you 
make yourself stronger. Exercise is good for the body. It's, it helps you in different things. It helps you in your strength, in your speed, even in your endurance. Today there's a lot of health challenges. And if you can see today there's a lot of awareness going on now. People are getting more informed about health, fitness. You see, not everything that doctors can take care of. There are certain things with exercise you can take care of you without you going to the hospital. You see? My name is Mrs. Olivia Okbara. I'm here to take exercise to work out. I feel so happy, so free, relieved. I used to be bigger than this before. And anybody who knows me, that sees me now, will not know that I am the person. I have a happier life now. I live a happier life now. I live a more, I live a, you know, I'm very healthy now compared to how I used to be. I'm Nancy, CEO of Ellie's Beauty Empire. I think as, as much as you live, you got to exercise. Because exercise, if you want to live long, if you want to live long, if you want to have a good health, you have to exercise. If you're not exercising, you're killing yourself because you're endangering your health. You have to exercise to be fit, to burn some calories, reduce the cholesterol, your BP, your heart, your kidney needs exercise. So as a lady, you also have to exercise for your breast cancer. Hi, my name is Choma Ugo Brown. Exercise today was tough, like really, really tough. I came in late, but I was still able to get a lot of workout done. It was very, very, see, I know I'm going to feel it later on, but it was really, really tough. So, how long did you do this thing? Oh, my brother, <laughs> since I was, let me say nine. Wow, you don't play the video since within nine. Exercise is good for you. It keeps you fit. It reduces illness in you. It makes you not to be going to doctor's place every time. Once you sweat it out, I bet it, you go fit. Oh. My name is Rosemary Ogu. I'm an obstetrician gynecologist and the coordinator of the gestational diabetes mellitus program in the Niger Delta. I'm a past president of Medical Women Association of Nigeria and a staff or a doctor with the University of Potako Teaching Hospital. If you do exercise, you can prevent a lot of things. Physical activity can help prevent a lot of conditions, even cancers, even metabolic syndrome, hypertension, high, um, high lipid level in the blood and so on, diabetes, the complications of diabetes. You can prevent all that if you have a good physical activity scheme. Princess Cara, hoping to make the Olympic standard next year in my event. I'm a discus thrower. Yeah, exercise is very, very essential to the body. Even if you can't run, at least in the morning, just take a walk. It's very essential to the heart, especially, and also to all parts of our body. So exercise is very, very important to prevent you, not just from any kind of illness, but many kind of illness. Exercise, <laughs> let me just tell you the truth then, it has made me brave, bold, in the public. I can stand before and before my mates and girls. Sometimes when I come out like this, people get encouraged, men see my body build and everything. I told them it's just hard work. So it has really given me this platform to stand whenever I'm in the crowd. My name is Mr. Sam City Manuel. If you, if you work out very well, work out appropriately. And one thing about working out, it's not just about going outside and run. You must get to a good gym, look for a good fitness trainer that has to articulate your exercise routine, pace out your exercise from your cardiovascular exercises to your weight training exercises. You must put all this thing into cognizance to get a full package of what is known as real fitness exercises. My name is Treasure. As exercises makes you fit all around. Even mentally, you may be surprised, but it does. If you meet any physician to ask, they will tell you exercise is even the best medicine and the best, yeah, you can give to yourself. Just work out, do some exercise, like road walks. It must not necessarily mean you're carrying weight, but trekking also is also good. If you're going short distance, you don't need to enter a car. You can just walk it. It stretches the bones. Yeah.
talking about diabetes to make people aware. Diabetes can be prevented from developing even if it's in your family by good diet and exercises. Well, I take a lot of oranges. I take uh, what they call this uh, ginger. And I take a lot of vitamins. So, Barbados is not to be fit? Well, I believe so. So, um, do you have fruits? Do you take fruits? What kind of fruits do you take? I take apples, bananas, mangoes, oranges. I also take my, I take my favorite, that is mangoes. I also like to take strawberries, grapes, and also I take pineapples. And you think they are good for the body? Yes. Do you have any reason? Yes, I do. Fruit helps in your growth. They help in proteins, helping in your strength. For an example, son is having difficulties in dispatching. You have to take orange. Yes, I did. Um, then I don't do it, but now I'm doing it because I got my instructor here, yeah, M. Harry, he told me I eat at least four eggs a day, but he told me I can eat the white part, but the yolk in it, just one yolk a day, is very important. And beef, too, much of it is not good because of the fat in our st um, stomach. So all those kind of things, vegetables, many kinds of things, and fruits, all those things are okay for the body when exercising. So that's what I do. Yeah. Yes, I do diet. Yes, I do diet. You have to, you have to diet, cut down on fried things, cut down on red meat, you know, drink more water, take more fruits, banana, cucumber, oranges, you know, and watermelon. Make sure you put yourself into these dietary processes so that you can get a good and firm body. You understand what we mean? Dieting must not be just dieting and dieting and dieting. You have to space your dieting. You have to follow your dieting with good exercise and fitness routine to get the ultimate goal. I don't diet, but I eat right. Yes, I eat right. I eat a lot. I, I, I take, I drink more water. I eat a lot of veggies, veggies. Yeah. I, I, I would not call it diet, diet per se. Um, I try to avoid the unhealthy food as much as I can. But when I can't, I indulge a little bit. Doesn't even matter, I had to fall.